the more section. Okay. Okay. We're live. All right. Well, let's start with you, Steve. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but you're it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, That's see. just a little bit of desert flora uh, shot in uh, my uh, light tint against a black background. And then pulled over to topaz and messed with. So, hmm. was that an impression filter, or do you remember which? I think it was the impression filter. Yeah, it did a really nice job on the uh, on the uh, buds there. Yeah, yeah. yeah buds. You say you shot that mm -hmm. in a, in your light tent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what right. exactly is that, Steve? I'm not familiar. Oh, with it's that. just it's just uh, it's called a light box. It's um, a fabric tent that's open at the front, closed in on all five all the other five sides, and uh, you can e even close in the front if you want to. But uh, <clears throat> you can hang um, background. Um, I should say uh, sheets in there, and this is uh, a black one, of course. But uh, hmm. so you can light it from outside; it helps to reduce uh, shadows in a way. It yeah. diffuses, yeah, it diffuses oh. the light. Like, a, oh, like okay. an inverted diffusion box. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hmm. So the so the uh, subjects on the inside, and all the lights are on the outside. So the yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Portraits, yeah. Actually, did a did a nice job in that. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So that was I was just out roaming around. You remember the ones from last week, the uh, the monster buds, right? Right. Yeah, I picked this <laughs> up at the same time I was picking up the monster buds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I go out and bring them home, and then shoot them in the light to see what comes up. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, thank you. Let me click on that. And here's the weird window. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is what I aspire to. There's a combination <laughs> of probably four different photographs uh, taken into Lightroom um, mm. and uh, then tweaked again in uh, Topaz. So I think it was the fun filter, the Sparkly star or star glimmer or whatever it is there. Um, the thing in the middle is a seashell. Uh, mm. So they were they were done individually. I should say each of the layers in Photoshop were done in, individually in topaz. Uh, mm. Okay. And then blended together. Okay. Interesting. What are the four circles at the corners? Of those were actually from a, a previous picture that I'd taken, Wendell. Um, it was a light painting. So you can see these white um, squigglies, I should say the lines oh, okay. here, were all done with uh, a stick with an LED on the end in a completely dark room, painted oh, in. And okay. then I think what I did in Photoshop was I applied um, a lens flare to each of those, what you would call the circles there. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Oh. Well, well. So, like I said, when we were talking before, with all these fun little boxes we have, these tools, it's <laughs> like being five years old and, you know, yeah, getting a box of crayons. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. Although I think if I, I think if I would have done this when I was five, I probably would have been sent to the School <laughs> psychologist. <okay. laughs> yeah. It's into the relearning institute. <laughs> you know, it's never too late, Steve. Hey, <laughs> I, this guy needs to be I, programmed. Yeah, I have no interest. <laughs> in, this is normal for me, so it's yeah. okay. Um, yeah, it looks like a, a pregnant centipede or something. <laughs> That's good fun. Well, I gave it the strange name of entering the Bardo, but here it says Cars Cosmic Portal, but uh, <laughs> kind of the same thing. I'm figuring this is what I'm going to see about two seconds after I uh, leave this mortal coil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
into the primordial soup as it were. There you yeah. go. All right. And this was just one of the uh, art pieces down at the uh, one of the shops in the art warehouse district. But I oh. took it into Photoshop and applied the spherical filter to it. And oh. it gave me this crisp, this beautiful crystal oh. look. Oh, oh. oh. And um, so I just left it that way. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the crazy movie from the 50s, Mar, you know, Invaders from Mars. Oh, yeah. Where they, yeah. Where they had the strange Martian head in the ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That was funny. I think I would have liked it a lot better if they would have had some good looking babe in the ball instead of what yeah. they had. <laughs> right. Of course. You know, mm. to give it a little more realism, you could, you could kind of paint some highlights on. Yeah, on it and goes to men. Uh, Almost looks real right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea, Sandy. I think I'll try that. Yeah, hmm. and try different blending modes to see what works the best and, and but, capacity and so on. Yeah, yeah. Be. The artist there, I think, I want to call her I E Y E, um, has such beautiful pieces. Oh yeah, shot. that's a nice. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice mm. space. Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. Okay. And that came right out of the uh, Tucson Museum of Art oh. and their uh, Central American exhibit. Hmm. It doesn't look like that there. No. <laughs> it's just all kind of tan clay. Oh. Uh, a lot of garbage behind it. So it got uh, manipulated a wee bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that's. Um, that's a topaz filter, and I'm trying to think if it was like fiery effect. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, museums are great for uh, source images. Yeah. Let's have some wonderful stuff. Very nice. So again, you know, I think I took that in and put a, a mask on it in Lightroom, um, mm. a subject mask, and then just killed the background totally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really liking that select subject mask. It's uh, yeah. yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Good. Yeah. Okay. And there's, wow, that's the only normal one I have, I guess. Well, no, the, the first one was normal. Quite. So, and this was this was just a statue down at the Tucson Museum of Art out in the courtyard. Cool. Um, mm. Again, cut it out with the you know subject selection tool in Photoshop. Um, I think I did um, a neural filter on this colorization and then mm. uh, dropped in the background, which is um, just one of the trails out by Elephant Head. Uh, mm. I'm going up to Madeira. Yeah. Mm. And I gave yeah. it a little shadow under the horse, yeah. not much because oh. the light that day was really diffused. Yes, I did put in a new sky. Mm. Um, but it was a very diffuse light because it was overcast, so there's not a lot of shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the trees are pretty much the same. But yeah, you yeah. need something to ground it, and that works out nicely. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Another trick on oh, shadows is when you get close to the feet, uh, just make another set of shadows that are a little darker, just to ground Darker, them. yeah. Yeah, on a separate layer. You know, that, that helps out. All right. Yeah. So that's my contribution to weird this week. Yeah. Well, very good. <laughs> nice. Well, you never disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go down to Wendell. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay. This is uh, just a sign for a restaurant in downtown Riverside, California. And uh, there was a little bit of stuff around it, but I just cropped all that out. But I left the street address up there. Otherwise, it just seemed kind of sterile. And so left that in and uh, just pretty much a straight Photoshop, uh, very little manipulation to it. We didn't, didn't go in the restaurant. It was, just happened to be a place we walked nice. by. It's a nice sign, it really is. Yeah. 
Yeah, they also had a just a picture of a black cat without the the words on it uh, in their window. That's what caught my eye, and then I saw this and took a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just wondering if losing that address would keep the interest where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was thinking that. Yeah. Kind of sort of. Just take a quick look. Yeah. I think I like it without it. I like the little runny stuff from the. Oh, yeah. I was on a like a tile facing. Yeah, with the weathering there. Yeah. I kind of like it that way. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Tube. Do that or just, you know, bring these down a little bit so you don't. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, or, or take them out and put in six 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 Lindell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the nine. Just flip it over. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Photoshop would do that. Yeah, quite easily. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I was just wondering if it added maybe a little question or explanation or something of what it was. Yeah, I was. I was going to say, Sandy, if you left the address in, though. Um, I would probably clip that and move it over, center that address up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, above the plaque? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'd do that and tone it down. Yeah. Either that or move it a little more to the left so it, 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 it lines up with this edge here. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to line up with that edge to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one or the other. Mm -hmm. kinda... But I, I really like the side one. And you, yeah. you didn't, you didn't do anything to it in Photoshop. You didn't apply a no. filter or anything to it. No, uh, that was the original color. It mm -hmm. was kind of a pebbly surface, and I'm not sure whether it's aluminum or what. But I guess they had done a little staining to get that. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. I would like to go in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, if I ever get a chance. Now, where, where is this at? Uh, Riverside, California, oh. right downtown. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't been there in ages. Yeah. And, of course, the uh, late Cat Noir, uh, we've got a poster with the same wording and a black cat on it that seems to be yeah. very popular. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Unless you're super <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, what, what we next year? This is in Yuma, Arizona. Mm. Um, it's in a little park right next to the Colorado River, pretty close to where the old territorial museum uh, prison is located. But anyway, I like this old steam locomotive, and uh, the original picture wasn't that uh, interesting, yeah. but <clears throat> I took it into Topaz and I used the expressionism filter, took it back out and then put the, another filter with the name travel to Tortuga. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come across that one. <laughs> I haven't yeah. tried it yet. Yeah. Uh, it's the, I think the bottom of the uh, abstract mm -hmm. list yeah. of things, but Anyway, I hadn't gotten that far down on that list before, but it, anyway, the name caught my attention. So I put it on, it didn't change things too much, but yeah. anyway, that was all I did. And a little touch up in Photoshop, there were some trees off to the yeah. right side there Fair that enough. I took out. Hmm. But it is much more impressive with the topaz uh, filters than it was straight. Yeah, it's fun. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of prisons, I drove up South Wilmot. Oh, yeah. And that's prison central for Tucson, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, oh, oh yeah. That state prison, a... federal prison, the United States prison. It's like, Lord have mercy. It's like, <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't know all of those were there. But, I know they... but it's simply. Out in the middle of nowhere, as far as you know, vegetation is everything concerned, and they have yeah. like triple walls of concertina wire and 
Oh, I guess once you're in, there, there'd be no way to, and if you did get out, you're not going very far. Because, <laughs> That's uh, right. You bleed to oh, death. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not just that, but there's no place to hide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was even a little paranoid about pulling over to take pictures. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm not sure. They might not like this, right? Well, they probably have security cameras watching you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's about all I can say about this one. All righty. Okay, these are just uh, little, I think there's some variety of agave. I'm not sure, but uh, there's an effect. Um, botanical garden in Palm Springs. Yeah. And got some lava rock behind it there. And this one, again, topaz. This time I started with the travel to Tortuga and then put uh, the line and ink filter over that. Yeah. And that made it a little more crisp, I think. Did you mask out the agaves or just leave no. them? No, okay. that's uh, just uh, straight. About the only other manipulation. Yeah, it looks like you can see the lines in the agaves there, yeah. Yeah, but that turned out really well. I love yeah. the effect on the rocks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kind of neat. Yeah, that, and then, uh, let's see, there's another one. Um, chalk, something. On concrete. Yeah, or something, yeah, that uh, made a very dramatic thing, but it was kind of obscured the a lot of the details, so I didn't use that. Well, the rocks look like a, like a watercolor. Oh. Yeah, they sure yeah. do. Well, yeah, they were kind of reddish and uh, just kind of a lava rock, uh, orangish color. So, yeah, it almost looks like you went in there and hand colored them all. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was the way they were. Wow. About all you I got, did was... You, you got the... the Beautiful number of cactus here too, and agave. When you yeah. three and three, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. This yeah. one up in the corner, upper right corner, I kind of dark no, to take it out. We don't, we don't count those, so yeah. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I did a little touch up, took out some little branches and things that were uh -huh. twigs that were on the ground, to right? Clean it up and darken the upper uh, little cactus. Anyway, it was one of those so so originals that Topaz salvaged. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. An amazing program. Yes, it yeah. is. It really is. All right. Anyway, well, this... Okay, now we're getting into semi weird stuff. This <laughs> is one of the downtown Tucson yeah. high rise buildings taken from the old. Uh, courthouse and what caught my eye was the reflections in the lower part of the building yeah. of a building across the street yes and what it looks like is a bunch of computer code zeros and ones yeah <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> yeah all through here but great and then on top of the building you can see on the right side upper middle part some reflections of I think red in there and all that was a radio antenna on top of the building. So uh -huh. that was uh, kind of interesting to see, but it didn't make a very good picture on its own. But I did crop out all the bushes and stuff in the foreground to, to get this and then put a Photoshop sky replacement in. Yeah. And went to kind of a sunset look. To like kind the, of offset the blues. I like the kind of aura that it created as it blends. Yeah, it did that. Uh, yeah. Which, yeah, I like that too. It, uh, let it stand out a little bit more from the sky itself. But anyway, this was actually made up as the first step in the next one, which is getting into the weird stuff a little bit. What I was trying to demonstrate was using um, Photoshop adjustment layer uh, black and white. And I did various opacities of a black and white filter 
And at the top, the 12 o'clock position is the photo just as you saw yeah. it. Yeah. And then starting clockwise around, it's a 20% opacity, a 40, 60, 80. And then finally the uh, upper left is 100% black and white filter effect. Even though it does look like it's got a little bit of blue in it. Um, this, I don't, yeah, this I think pink. it's black and I think it's black and white. But yeah, but anyway, that's all I was doing there, and then I just drew a hexagon and uh, stuck the yeah. building pieces around it, and, and changed the color of the center uh, to the blue, and. I was just to see if I could do it, kind of like a digital carpentry thing, just kind of gluing yeah. stuff together. Yeah. Well, I first saw it, I thought it was some kind of a, like a tool. Uh, oh yeah, it does look like some yeah. sort of milling uh, bit or tool, but I also thought it was kind of like a a, a brooch or a necklace, yeah. big. Uh, thing like a turquoise necklace. But anyway, that was just something I threw yeah, in. Nice, nice effect. Well, yeah, it did come out kind of pretty if you just kind of look at it abstract without yeah. uh, going into looking at details. I'm curious of maybe a radio radiation or something in the center here, so it's not just... Oh, maybe, maybe uh, yeah. Two or two. Yeah. Yeah, like maybe some... Oh, uh, yeah, like radio concentric one. circles or something. Yeah, something yeah, radio. Radio. Yeah. yeah. Or even, yeah. Yeah, you know, take take this, what is this? Uh, hexagon. Yeah, the hexagon, yeah. Yeah, just take it and repeat it down or something. Oh, yeah. And you could even do, uh, you know, that stylized shadowing. You could uh, you could use shadows. Uh, and I would keep the shadow in the center so it goes out on all six sides, you know, so it isn't just weighted to one side. It mm. kind of add some depth to it. Mm. Be fun. Yeah. 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 There's a, Maybe throw a little grain over it just to, because everything else is so smooth. Oh, yeah. 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 Might, be, oh. might be fun. Yeah. That's an idea. Just a thought. See if I come up with another concept to try that on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'll go up to Alan. <clears throat> this is uh, this is a bouquet of flowers I got, <laughs> and uh, I just took a shot with my phone, and uh, I got a nice nice shot from it. But I always like to, you know, take it into, again, take it into these topaz uh, filters, man. It's just amazing what comes out of it. So mm -hmm. it's basically what it is. I did take out the protected, the little yellow part in the, in the middle there. That's what I was trying to focus in was zero and then that little yellow flower. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I just, I like all the colors and the textures and the, uh -huh. Shapes all bring it in together. Yeah. It's nice that you kept a little, little smearing and fringing on the edges. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the only part that uh, I masked uh, out there. So, mm -hmm. everything yeah. else. Was mm -hmm. Tremendous textures. Look at these leaves. Look at these petals. Yeah. Amazing. And I like the glow that it applies to the yellow, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty vibrant, pretty yeah. vibrant of flower. So it's, yeah. Nothing I mean, that does, that, that does pull you right into that, that portion of the picture. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And just a nice color, is eh? like this. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it was a nice bouquet of flowers, but there you go. Mm. Now that's a wolf. <laughs> that's a wolf, yeah. That's not one of my backyard visitors, by the way. So. <laughs>
This is actually, I took this shot of last summer, I think, in the Calgary Zoo. So mm -hmm. I just re, re, uh, uh, did the, uh, we did it a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful animal. Yeah. yeah for sure. I, I like the catch light there too. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. The eyes really boring into it. Yeah. It was, it, got, it was a little bit soft before I fixed it up a little bit, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I did do and talk about that fur and feathers thing a little bit, which helps. But you have to go very gently on that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, then I did bring it back into Photoshop and just sharpened up the eyes a little bit. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you guys think about maybe bringing this foreground down a little bit so it doesn't compete so much with him? Yeah. Bring it up. up yeah. A bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or just shadow, shadow it, bit. shadow it yeah. in there, Sandy. Yeah. 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 Just tone it down. Hmm. A bit. Yeah. yeah. Linear, linear, linear gradient. I think I had a wee yeah. bit of a gradient on there actually, and I put a, I put a, what do you call it, thing around the edge. Oh, vignette. Oh, vignette. Yeah. Vignette, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. See a little vignette. Yeah. 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 But you're thinking in shortening it up from the bottom, is that? No, I'm thinking of just kind of toning it down so it's not so bright. You could probably yeah, okay. maybe bring the highlights down a little bit. Try that. And maybe okay. pull some of the white out. And uh, yeah. Okay. Bring it up a bit. Let's take a quick peek and see what happens. His eyes really pop there, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, when I look at a, a like a, a canine wolf coyote, any of them, and looking at their eyes, I never get the same feeling as when I'm looking at a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, the dog, I mean, the, the canine looks like, oh, with a little bit of effort, we could be friends. But cats, it's like, I don't think that's happening. You know? right. <laughs> well, yeah. What's that? No, you're, yeah. you're I'm your boss. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think you'd be friends with this guy. <laughs> so we're going to just hit a little linear gradient. And I'm not going to, I'm going to keep the edge a little sharper. And then I'm going to just move it up. Then that way it'll blend in. And fall off pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. And we can mm. we can see how that works and mm. oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. And then I um, guess we can try a couple of things. We can take yeah, maybe just a little exposure. But I would probably just take the whites down. Yeah. But maybe just a little highlight. Uh, highlight is going to give it more more uh, detail. So let's leave that alone. But maybe we could add a little more black not quite that much so we're in that area yeah something like that and then then you can adjust this to to get it where you need it gotcha. and of course it's easier the further out you go the more control right. you have on that <laughs> rotating <laughs> the center it's like rip, rip, rip. <laughs> it was way too fast mm -hmm. yeah but I, I think that would help Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, so that's before, that's after. Yeah, yeah that definitely hmm. helps. Yeah. Definitely yeah. helps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's look for this okay. next guy. Oh. Okay. So, you remember the rain we got on the thirty first of uh, December? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Well, this is, uh, I, had, I had another one a couple of weeks ago from, from the same rainstorm. This is, a, this was raindrops on a leaf. And mm -hmm. uh, it was a macro shot, 105 macro shot. And I just really zoomed right in to these, these little bits of uh, water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what came out. Punched up the punched up the the uh, color color on them, and that's what came up. Yeah, it's amazing the way they just sit there, yeah, like little spheres. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are these are microscopic almost. These little drops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you get a nice color, the texture parts from the leaf as well. So. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, pretty interesting uh, effect. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can pull a little more detail in this highlight. If not, you can put maybe a color wash over it just to knock it down a little bit. Too bright, you think? Yeah, yeah I think so. This, yeah. This one's almost there. This one and this one are a little too bright. Okay. I think. And maybe just a little on that one. You don't want them to get muddy, but um, yeah. You know, something like that, but not so dark. Okay. Yeah. And I'd probably go with a cool tone in there to offset your warm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be nice. Oh. oh, that's nice. nice. Okay, so this is a this is a shot I took quite a, of a, a over a year ago. It's uh, these are huge rocks, not a lot far from Calgary. These are and and they're they traveled on the glaciers. So these rocks came from thousands of miles away, mm -hmm. and, and they traveled all the way down in these glaciers. And of course, when they melt. That's where they end up, but um, so it's a really nice foreground uh, for this uh, Milky Way shot that we took uh, one one evening last uh, well, a year ago, and uh, I went in and I tried out some of these uh, new neurofilter things, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean it was not a bad shot to begin with, but. I ran it through that newer filter thing uh, uh, where you change the landscape. And this was a sunset uh, effect. And this is actually the moon. <laughs> oh. It's going down there. Oh. So, uh, hmm. interesting. But it changed, it changed it subtly. It made it a little bit darker and, and, and warmed up the, the sky and the horizon. Yeah. Hmm. The, the part that I really like, I personally like, is I love that pathway yeah. going, in, going into them. I like the color of it. It's just yeah. pick up mm -hmm. the color of the sky. Yeah. I saw an interesting shot this morning. Uh, someone had taken pictures of the blood moon, or whatever oh, yeah. moon is this weekend, and it was, it was setting, so it looked like a sunrise. It yeah. was really interesting. Oh. Because it was picking up some of the sunrise colors, of course, yeah. it was in the opposite direction. Yeah. I'm almost wondering if maybe you just take a little bit of one of your moon shots and just ghost it in there. <laughs> it might be interesting. <laughs> yeah. you know, one thing I really wasn't all that happy with, and not sure what to do about it, was you know the the ground on either side of the path is a little muddy looking and. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know quite what to do with that. But well, time. Luminar is really good at snapping that kind of stuff up. Do you have that? Yep. Okay. You know, and just just mask it in. You know, just paint it in where you want it. Okay. You know, do the effect it and get it to where you like it, and then just start painting it in on the mask, and it'll okay. just show up where you're painting. And uh, yeah, you can quickly. Uh, let's take a quick peek at. Luminary. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. It's kind of muddy here. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few things in Luminar that tend to pull that kind of stuff up. All right. Let's just uh, go to edit here. Well, let's look at accent to start. Yeah, accent snaps it up a little bit, but it might make it a little too bright. And then uh, sometimes uh, structure helps. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. And if it gets too bright for you, you can, well, I don't mind it that much, but if you want to take it down a little bit, you can, you know, just go back to light and- Just bring it down a bit. Yeah, just bring it down a bit. Something like that. The only problem with light here is that you can't mask it. So let's reset that and instead go to tools here. Or I'm sorry, 
local masking, and I think you can add basic, okay, which is lighting, and then you take it down. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, to give you a mask here, so so now you can go in and, and paint it. So it's just in the areas you want. I'm just being quick here, but yeah, you know, once you once you get it in there, you can kind of tweak it from there. Yeah. So maybe that's a little too much. You know, maybe something like that. All right, and then and then you can go back to your regular stuff by clicking this series of lines and dots and. Uh, and then to go back and maybe in structure, make the same kind of mask. Okay, so it's just in that area. All right. So it's just affecting what you want. Okay, oops. Yeah, up a bit. There we go. Um, now that you have it, you can kind of play with it locally and see where you want it. And then, I don't know, I think I've mentioned this before. If you go to these three dots, you can copy this mask. Yeah. And then take it back to enhance and paste it there as well. So you just go hit the three dots there and then hit paste. Now you see that enhances yep. just affecting that area. There you go. Good. I like that. That's a that's a good one. Yeah. So it does a nice job of kind of getting rid of the mush and the mud. Yeah. You know, and then you can you can do the same thing with with um, with detail as well. You could paste the mask there. Yeah. You know. yeah. Now it doesn't show you the mask till you do something. So. You know, so let's make it a little sharper, and and then uh, then you you're able to go in there and, and just hit paste, and then you can you know make it as sharp as you want. I'm gonna over exaggerate this so you can kind of see it, but yeah, I wouldn't go that much normally, but at least you guys can see it now. Actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just impressed the way I took a moonrise or a moonset and made a sunset up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool, eh? I like that. I love the color. It's, it's just the dark, yeah. darkness and the nice gradient. And then the. Mm -hmm. the Did there. it put. You had the stars and everything there to begin with. Though, these right? are all, yeah, these are all real yeah. stars and a okay. real motivation. Yeah? Yes, okay. Very nice. But it, was, it wasn't a bad shot to begin with. I just thought it would have enhanced it a little. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Some little tweaks. It's really uh, interesting okay. how this icon looks totally different than the image. <laughs> because you don't see all the, yeah. all the subtle. <laughs> Textures in there. Yeah. Uh, again, oh, it I, looks, I, like, I, looks I, like a chrome reflection. <laughs> well, this is a this is a this is a, a photo of a bike rack downtown, and um, I've done this. This was maybe again about a year ago or so, and I'm just enjoying taking some of these photos back into some of the things that I've learned recently. Mm -hmm. and, and reprocessing them and, and see what comes out. And yeah, yeah. This one was already had that uh, oil effect from Photoshop. Yeah. So you see all that, detail, that uh, texture there. But then uh, I did bring it into uh, Topaz and I just enhanced things a little bit. And it just uh, made it a little bit more interesting, I think. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's got a nice snap to it. 
No, yeah, beautiful effect. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, it's so in Photoshop originally, what I did was I, I put a little twist on it, and that's what that's how you get that little kind yeah. of. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Stay warm and stay healthy. I'll try. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look, Ben. Yeah, this is a Pima County courthouse that they redone. Um, I added the structure and, and, and uh, contrast to the building. Uh, it was a blue sky and I added a, the uh, wisp of clouds in the uh, sky. And then the uh, sidewalk was stone white. And I found a uh, overlay that I brought in that had a lot of colors of what picture did and just yeah. add that to the sidewalk in. Very good. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. So I like the uh, I like the blue in all the windows and mm -hmm. how it yeah. Do you know what I was thinking there? Um, since you removed all these modern buildings all around about out there, I think that would look um, really amazing. You know the, the background buildings? Yeah. I think that would look really cool without with them not in there. Oh, it's just it's, so it's just the old old building itself. So you yeah. see the, the building yeah. itself, yeah. Yeah. I think, that would, I think that would look really good. Probably wouldn't be that hard to do if I changed my position from where I was at so I could get the buildings standing by themselves. And just, yeah. just, just mask them out, mask them out. Yeah. 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 Oh, I do like the, the perspective with the way that it's railroading. Nice. Excellent. Ending. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Excellent shot. Yeah. 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 You could you could easily mask. I don't know if you're familiar with line art tools, but that would. Uh, Is that then that, that dome would look more easy to mask yeah. 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 And then if you still have the raw image, maybe you can pull this highlight yeah. just a bit. Or see, yeah, I, I darkened it a little bit and I yeah. could have went more with it. I see now. Yeah, probably just a bit more. It, it's tough when they're blown out. It, like it's, that. it's pretty well blown out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll happen. It's a great shot, Don. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Nice. nice. If, if you've been into the uh, the gym and mineral museum that they moved over from uh, U of A. No, we haven't. We, we okay. was inside. Uh, we went to the old courthouse for. Dillinger was held trial a lot and yeah. walked around the, the uh, visitor center and stuff like that, but we never did get into the uh, uh, mineral exhibit. Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing, it really is. Did you see yeah. it when it was back under the planetarium at the, at the U of A? Mm -hmm. No. Because I've, I've seen it there a number of times. I'm just wondering how, how different it is. I, I, I imagine that. The rock collections the same, but I'm just wondering how they laid it out. <laughs> yeah, back there it looks like something from the, you know, fifties. Um, oh, not, <laughs> not, not not this one, not this one. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. I got to get over there. All right. Mm. This one here was shot down at uh, uh, Kanoa Ranch. Uh, yeah. Not sure why the water was so light. Uh, I actually darkened, tried to darken the water down without it looking obvious, uh, but the water was almost, uh, it had a tint of blue in it, but it was really yeah. white. <clears throat> so I don't know if it was just the angle the light hit was reflecting off the water or what. Mm -hmm. The Is other shots- Overcast? Was it overcast? Uh, not really. Okay. And the sun was out, but- uh, I don't know if it was great. because I was focused on the head of the duck that that made yeah. the rest of it lighter because it was so bright out. I don't know. So I had that water light. that water effect in front of the duck is amazing. Yeah, that I wave like effect. That. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all the other shots I had didn't any of them turn out like that. Yeah. So I don't know what I 
what happened. I had it on burst mm -hmm. mode, so I'm not yeah. sure. Oh, that's really gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. Really nice. I just I can't explain it other than I really liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we can I see how well select subject works with this one. Might take a little reflection is beautiful too though no? it is really yeah nice. that's what I, re I really liked i've never really had a reflection turn out that mm -hmm. good yeah okay so we go in our little mask guy here and select subject yeah it's pretty good that's amazing eh? <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then we can take that and invert it. All right. And then I guess we can start with taking some white out. Maybe a little exposure. Try some tint in there too, or temperature. Yeah. yeah. See if that cools off the water. Yeah. Yeah, you can play with that. Yeah. It makes you really, uh, you could really cool it off. You know, yeah. You can put a little little magenta in there to get a little more purpley. Yeah. Now the mask selected this area here as well. Yeah. So I guess what you could do is go in, let's take a look at it, and add. So we'll go in and add with a brush. And we could start by taking the flow way down. And using a fairly big one here, and just kind of slowly go across it like that. So click, let go, yeah. do something like that. You know, you can keep going if you want. And then maybe you could take a little bit of that into here too, if you want to just take this down a little bit. Work it like that. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the water where you want. And then if you want to okay. get even more shape, you could uh, you know, go in here and get a new mask and, and just make a linear gradation here and and you know. Just do something like that. And yeah, something like that would work. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Good. So that's your before. There's your app. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks a lot more realistic. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if this is too too bright for you, know, too saturated, you can take it down a little bit so it doesn't compete so much. Okay, thank you. Sure. Nice shot. There it is. <laughs> oh. This, this here I shot off our patio from yeah. our rental off the golf course. Mm -hmm. uh, you come up in a, out of the bottom of the river bottom and, and uh, struck that pose and yeah. before he started started into the golf course and looked like he charged a golf cart at one point before he turned around and actually come all the way up to the houses up here and about two mm -hmm. houses down against the wall before he took off to the south end. But, yeah. Yeah, they're characters. Yeah. But yes, I they took are. that in Photoshop, the bottom part, uh, the bottom quarter was was uh, dirt. So I brought the grass down on the content aware and, and tried to make it look like sunspots coming through and, yeah. Oh. and uh, yeah. blurred the back a little more. And, oh, yeah. Now, one of the strange yeah. things I've noticed about Javi pictures is that no matter how in focus you are, their bodies never look sharp. It's like 
There you look at their, their part, it just goes, it looks like it's all blurred out. Yeah. And that must be their their camo, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are a part of it anyway, because uh yeah. Yeah. predator. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. They're like almost like ghosts, aren't they? They're really uh strange. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the pose you got him in. It looked like he's just strutting along. Oh, like yeah. King of the Hill here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he thought he owned the place. Yeah. Well, they, well, they do. Yeah. <laughs> they can't chase oh. you out, they'll smell you out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the nose, too. That's yeah. Pretty, yeah. Did you um, use a... Um, a color correction through a mask, or how did you get these little dapples? Um, Burning I dye? think I done a uh, uh, cloning. Took some of the, the lighter colors out of the top or around the edges, and, mm -hmm. and dropped mm. them in on the. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You may want to go back in with a, I don't know, color or hue brush. Q usually doesn't work in uh, work that well with uh, neutral tones like that, but uh, it, it just kind of a little muddy. So if you're doing this with a filter, a lot of times you can just change the color temperature. But since you're already at this point, uh, which oh okay, is, um, let's just add a layer on top of it. And um, we'll change the layer to, well, we'll try hue first in the blend mode. And let's just get a brush and we'll pick out some of this green here and just see how that works. Yeah, it, it, it's not doing much. So what you might want to try is change it to color. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it looks like it's pumping it up a little bit. A little better. Yeah, yeah you can just kind of paint that where it's where it's funky. Okay. Yeah. Get the, get rid of the mud out of it. Yeah, just enough to add something to it. Mm. So, that, that does improve it. Yeah. Yeah. So that does. Before, and if it's not enough, a lot of times you can duplicate this layer when you're done painting it, and uh, sometimes that'll add more into it. And you could even okay. try different blend modes to see what what works. Um, you know, yeah, soft light might help, and then and then you can adjust the opacity of that to mm -hmm. you know where you want. It. And obviously, yeah. paint more carefully than I did, but it kind of gives you the idea. Yeah, how to get All it right. where you want. It. Okay. Math or Cool critters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, these here were shot in New Mexico when we was coming in this winter. Um, Renuzo, I think it's called pronounced. It's a ski resort area, uh, not too far from White Sand. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're known for their wild horses and elk and stuff. And didn't see any of those. The only thing I caught out about was these. Uh, there was actually six six deer, and these three were standing pretty close together. Yeah, pretty. Love the look on this little guy. Your gap, yeah. <laughs> all ears. But pretty much straightforward. I had to darken. There was a lot of contrast in it, so I darkened it down and lightened some stuff up, and, yeah. and done some sharpening on it. And... Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works exactly very well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Then the next one, I it's the same picture. I just took in a topaz and, and tried oh. a charcoal filter on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. I kind of kind of like the way yeah. that turned out too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's a that's a good shot though, Yeah. Thank yeah, you. It's a yeah. Very nice shot. Yeah. 
That's a calendar picture, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just clone this out and you could be in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Did we get everybody? Yeah, I guess we did. All right. <laughs> I took the macro out and started playing recently. So, a bunch of macro stuff just around my, my neighbors. They, they went to Hawaii for a couple months. So, I've been watching their place and finding some interesting things out in their backyard. So, that's kind of fun. So, let's have a look. I'm not sure if this needs a vignette or, or or something to add a little more depth to it. Are you are you holding? Are you yeah. holding it? Are you? Yeah, these are all handheld. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I haven't quite got to a tripod yet. The, the biggest problem is trying to get out there when it's calm enough because it's been pretty windy. Mm -hmm. and, at which you know it's, it's hard enough just. Standing still enough, yeah. That's yeah. what you want it, and then the subjects mm. moving at the same time. So, yeah, yeah, it gets to be a bit of a like a whack a mole game <laughs> <laughs> to get what you want. <laughs> but I did get to a higher shutter speed, which helped. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice yeah, depth like of field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that yeah. one. This one works out pretty well, I think. That was kind of my intention in my mind's eye when I went out there to look for things to shoot. Mm -hmm. So this one actually came through. Did you use a linear gradient on the lower left corner to darken that to get yeah, a I did. kind of line paralleling yeah. the branch? Okay. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, the top good. Had it, but the bottom didn't, bottom left mm -hmm. did not. Yeah. And this one I used the gradient quite a bit on the lower right and upper yeah. upper right. Mm. Let's see, I like I like the little <laughs> strands of webbing in there though too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The stuff yeah. we don't see is amazing. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, a lot of it, I get back. I go, wow, I didn't even see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the little white tips on the branches that don't have a berry, uh -huh. I don't think are kind of neat. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, I, I, I think I almost like them better out of focus than, than sharp. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of fun. They almost look like little lights. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my first oh, wow. catch of a bee. Oh, I love the I love the sharpness of the yeah. lens, though. I mean, just, yeah, the know. lens is unbelievable. Yeah. It is. That Boy, is really... it just does not give you much depth. You're either you're in or you're out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like is if, if you're if you're focusing out toward infinity and you come back to macro, it it won't do anything. Like the autofocus just dies. You got to manually focus over to get close to where you need to be uh, and find, oh. find something with a lot of contrast or, or it won't start yeah focusing yeah. tight again mm. just what to, aperture are you set set on um it varies i was trying to keep it between two eight and five six some of them i want as high as eight or eleven okay yeah i'll point let me see what this one was um let's go back here that looks like it'd be about an eight or more. Yeah, five, six. Five, six. Yeah, <laughs> two hundredth a second. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't had a macro since, oh my gosh, I think in the late 70s, I had a 55 macro for my Nikon, my Nikon <laughs> F2. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's been a while. Just uh, I'm interested in, <laughs> but uh, now with being housebound most of the time and trying to find some different ways to do things, so I really like I like this. Yeah, yeah. 
Good. I like the color of that one. Yeah, yeah. And again, you get the webbing. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah. a wood wood tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's got to be some very small spiders doing that. This next one I kind of found interesting is kind of yeah. its last leg there. Hmm. Very nice. And then I, I started taking these into Topaz to see what I would do. This got a little Ooh. too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Love it. I liked it. Uh, I was using that uh, I can't remember, radiance on top of uh, impressionism, and mm. I thought it got a little too busy in the background, so I took it in a Photoshop and copied it, and, and then blurred it, mm. and then brought it mm. back where I, you know, brought the blur in where I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. I think that helped a little bit more. Yeah. So it wasn't just everywhere, just. Kind of hits the areas that need it. Really nice. Oh, thanks. Huh. And this it's a vibrant, one. vibrant red, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. From the fact that it was, it was. A, I can't imagine how red it must have been while it was still vibrant. You know, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, it almost looks yeah. like a velvet. Yeah, sheet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's another. Uh -huh. Variation of this. Mm -hmm. Nice one. And then on this one, I I took out some of the cobwebs on this one. There were some inside the uh, I don't know mm -hmm. those buds are, but, and I I went in and added some textures on top. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah. Hmm. Make it even more autumny. Yes, that works. Yeah, yeah. I thought so too. Thanks. So is that topaz textures? Yeah. yeah. I think maybe I'll go in and blur these a little bit here. They're almost a little too sharp. What do you guys think? Yeah. Well, yeah, that would make the little pods stand out a little more. I think. Yeah, I think so too. But when I blur them, they'll probably mute down a bit. If not, I'll, I'll darken them up. And then. Uh, This turned out to be a kind of a neat shot. Yeah. But then I, uh, I thought, well, let's see what Topaz will do with this one. So and I used uh, that mm. kind of green chalk of oh, yeah. yeah. And put a little bit of a, uh, a texture on the edge there. They, you know, they have yeah. border textures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of more of a pastel-y look. Well, that was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. very nice, very nice. Thanks. I like that. Yeah. So that's what I got <laughs> this week. Okay. The kind of that and stop sharing here. Well, I have to admit, 